What's up, everyone? Happy Cyber Monday. Hanging out here with the geese and the swans. Just woke them up. They were sleeping over here. They're not happy I'm standing here. Sun's up behind the clouds over here by the lake. And uh, we're chilling. So happy Monday. Uh, first day back from the long Thanksgiving weekend. And I uh, hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Hope everyone has a lot to be thankful for. Hope everyone got to spend some time with the family and friends. And uh, show some appreciation for uh, everything they have in their life. And uh, yeah, these guys are going nuts over here. They're not happy. Woke them up. Anyway. All right. So Cyber Monday edition. Uh, message of the day. Uh, what I'm going to talk about today. You engage. Uh, when someone tries to push your buttons, uh, do you let them? Uh, this morning, I got to walk into a text uh, from someone that uh, likes to push my buttons. And immediately, no good morning, no nothing, just came at me. And uh, they were trying to get me engaged. They wanted to, uh, they basically wanted to fight. And I caught myself because immediately I was thinking, you know, I'm going to fire back. And then I realized... Not my circus, not my monkey. Um, they're having a bad morning for whatever reason, and we're going to let this one roll off. So I talked a while back about breathe and roll, breathe and roll, and I need to remember this more myself. When uh, someone's trying to get you agitated, take a deep breath and let it roll off. Don't let them steal your joy. Don't engage. If someone's looking to, uh, to fight with you, don't engage. Don't engage. Let it roll off. Let it roll off. Um, this is something uh, I've been working on myself. Uh, stuff goes sideways and I let it get to me and I get agitated and I start engaging. And next thing you know, it's a, a text war, a, a, a verbal war, whatever, back and forth. You said that, I said this, yada, yada, yada. And if I would have just not engaged, then I wouldn't have wasted all this time. I wouldn't have wasted all this energy. I wouldn't have lost my joy. So be aware of when people are coming at you someone's having a bad day they say something uh you know of key to you um they say something that uh just you know ruffles your feathers a little bit um don't engage don't engage really concentrate on that um concentrate on not falling into the trap um people are disgruntled and people have whatever going on in their head um they want to bring you into that madness don't allow them don't allow them because all it does is waste time. All it does is steal your joy. All it does is pull you off course. Um, I really feel that's our enemy. Battle good versus evil. That's the evil trying to pull us off course. Uh, we wake up happy, wake up in a good mood, and immediately get blasted with a text. Um, someone that's not happy, that wants to cause trouble, wants to cause strife. And that trap was set, and um, I walked away from it today. And in the past, I may not have. So, small steps, uh, small steps forward daily, as my buddy Thomas Keenan says. Um, so just be aware of the traps that people are setting in your life. Be aware when people are trying to knock you off course and things are trying to knock you off course. And don't engage. Don't engage. Really just take a deep breath. Realize what's going on and don't engage. Let it roll off. Take a deep breath. Let it roll. Breathe and roll. All right, so there's your message of the day. Don't let people steal your joy. We say this one a lot. When someone says something to you that you don't like, don't respond. When someone sends you a text you don't like, don't respond. Don't fall into the trap. Don't let them push your buttons. I call it poking the bear. When people are trying to poke the bear and, and get you upset, don't let them poke you. Don't let them poke you. Put on your poke, poke-proof poke vest and uh, keep your joy. Don't engage. Don't go back and forth. Um, De-escalate situations. Don't escalate situations. When you... Uh, when you respond and you go back and forth, the situation starts escalating and it just gets worse and worse and worse. If you just uh, ignore it and take a deep breath and let it roll, the situation will de-escalate and calm down and everyone will get peace again. So, all right, there's your message. Let's jump in prayers. Let's say prayers here with the swans. They're sleeping. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to not engage with uh, those that are trying to steal our joy. Help us to keep our peace, and help us to um, stay happy, and stay healthy, and stay loving. Um, help us to keep our heads on straight, and uh, help us to stay on course, and help us not to uh, get lost in the shuffle. Amen. Uh, all right, everyone. So it's Monday. Um, Thanksgiving is over. So now we got the quick run up to the end of the year. It's going to be like tomorrow. It'll be the end of the year. Christmas will be around the block. Um, it's going to be a, it's going to be a race to the finish. So we need to start thinking about how we're closing out this year. 2022 is upon us. So we got a month left. Sprint to the finish. What are we going to get done, and how are we going to plan for 2022? Really stop and think about it. Let's not get caught in this madness, and let's keep moving forward. Small steps forward daily. Let's go every day. Make sure you're putting your head on the pillow, making knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Uh, tonight, uh, get some fire live, 8.30 p.m. Eastern time here on Facebook. Uh, me and my buddy Sam Smith will be chatting with my uh, friend Mariana, who is a badass tax accountant. Uh, she's doing 75 hard. She's got a 75 hard group. If you want to learn more about 75 hard, the program, uh, mindset, and uh, physical program, uh, she's going to talk about that tonight. She's also going to talk about the struggles of a single mom and struggles of a military wife and uh, struggles of um, a lot of stuff in her life uh, and how she overcame uh, all these things to become the uh, person she is today. Um, It'll be a great episode. Tune in tonight, 8.30 Eastern Time, here on Facebook, uh, also in the Apex Entourage group. And uh, we hope to see you tonight. Everyone have a great day. Make sure you get some Cyber Monday deals. Uh, don't spend too much money. Uh, make sure you need it. Don't waste your money. Um, but anyway, all right, everyone. Enjoy your day. Love you all. And uh, we'll see you tonight, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, here on Facebook. Tune in live and listen to... Uh, our chat with Mariana. You'll learn some stuff about 75 hard and life and, and some laughs and we'll have some fun. Hi, right, everyone. Appreciate you all.